Hi, welcome to the first of a few videos on where do lines meet. This is a math warehouse video on solving systems of linear equations. In this first video, 1.1, we're going to do an overview of different cases, um, how many solutions you can get, um, what that looks like on a graph, and we're going to look at the first of a few different ways of getting those solutions or those points of intersection. We're going to look at graphing, solving systems by graphing in this video. Other videos will look at other ways like elimination and substitution as ways of finding these intersections. Okay, so the first thing we want to understand be tr before we try anything else, before we actually try to find where lines meet, let's make sure we understand what we're trying to do and what all these words mean. So first off, a system of linear equations simply mean more than one linear equation, more than one line. So if you look on the screen here, you'll see that we have a single line here, right? We've got some line going off in any direction. This is not a system yet. We've got only one line. We need to add a second line here, like any other line. And now we've got a system. So when we talk about um, the solution of a system of linear equations, we want to know when these lines meet. So the first question to ask is, how many times can two lines meet? I mean, we can draw the second line any way we want. We can draw it this way, that way, we can draw it this way. What is the greatest number of times a line, two lines could intersect? Because we're going to deal with two lines in all of our examples. And what is the least number of times? Well, as long as if I draw this line here, or this line here, or this line here, eventually it's going to hit the first line and it's going to hit that first line one time so we definitely can hit a line one time and well, two lines can intersect at least one time the question is can they ever intersect two times and if you just think about it the answer is no right we've got two lines they're only going to hit once so the greatest number of times is one what about the least number of times is it possible to go to get a number less than one, or is it possible for two lines to never meet? And the answer is yes. If you just look at a picture, or maybe you already figured it out, um, it is possible for this situation to occur. Here we've got zero solutions. These lines, you may have guessed it, are parallel. Parallel lines of zero solutions. Here's our example of one solution, and there actually is a special case where if I give you this equation, y equals x plus 1, and I give you a second equation, 2y equals 4x plus 2, these are really the same line. So th these two equations here actually have an infinite number of solutions. They're the same line. It's the same as if I said, hey, graph y equals x. Now tell me how many times does 2y equal 2x intersect with y equals x? Well, these are the same line. If you divide 2y by 2 and 2x by 2, you get the original equation. So this is a kind of a special rare case. Mainly we're talking about parallel lines with zero solution or intersecting lines with one solution. The question today is how can we get this point or determine that there is no point using the graphing method? Today's tutorial, again, focuses on solving systems by graphing. So let's look at our first example. Our first pair of equations that we're going to try to graph is equation A, y equals x plus 5, and equation B, y equals 2x. Now, you need to be able to graph equations of lines to be able to do this. So I'm going to assume that you know how to look at the equation of a line and put it on a graph. If you can't, then you need to review that. And that's a different video and a different lesson. So the general strategy is simply to graph each equation and try to see if there's a nice point where they meet. Okay, if you have a graphing calculator, you can put it into the calculator and that'll do uh, produce the graph for you, but maybe you have to work from graph paper. So I'm going to do the first one on graph paper. And let's graph y equals x plus 5. You go up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this has got a slope of 1, so it looks like if I connect all of these points here and of course it keeps going down if I connect these points we'll have our equation A this is equation A 
then y equals 2x. You start at 0, and you go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Look at this, up 2 over 1. That's our intersection. That's our point of intersection. And you know, you do your best to connect these dots. I'm not the best person at drawing straight lines, my apologies. But by doing the slope this way, you can see that right here is our solution. And what point is that? That's the point x equals 1, 2, 3, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 